Hello future cat conquerors, welcome to your favorite cat prep channel, Apex Cat Coaching. I'm Suraj Chavla and I'm your quant trainer. In this video, we'll be looking at the applications of ratios from the point of view of coins and persons and the number of people given to us. Right? So before we proceed, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and also share this video amongst your friends. And please do not forget to follow us on Instagram, type Apex Bizog on Instagram so that you get all the updates from the right people at the right time. So this is going to be the eighth video on ratios. Before this, we have already uploaded seven, seven videos on the basics of ratios. If you have not watched them, please watch them by clicking on this link mentioned here. And then come back to this video and then let's learn how to apply the ratios and its applications. I would like to give you this disclaimer again. Whenever you are looking at these videos, please do not just watch them, pause the video, solve the question on your own and then come back to the video to make your learning perfect there. Clear? So that's the best way to master the concepts of this topic. Let's get started. Now, I'm given a purse contains rupee 1, rupee 2 and rupee 5 coins in the ratio of 5 is to 4 is to 3 and the total amount in the purse is 448. Now, let me tell you this is a standard model, coins and total amount. Let me take a simple example. If I have 2 rupee coins and I have 10 2 rupee coins, now can you tell me how much rupees do I have or what is the total amount that I have? I have a total of 2 into 10 that is 20 rupees. ठीक है तो अगर हमारे पास डिनोमिनेशंस दिया हुआ है और द वैल्यू ऑफ ईच कॉइन हमारे पास है ठीक है वैल्यू पर कॉइन इज गिवन टू अस राइट एंड इफ आई नो द नंबर ऑफ कॉइंस और नंबर ऑफ नोट्स दैट आई हैव सो वैल्यू पर कॉइन इनटू नंबर ऑफ कॉइंस ऑलवेज गिव्स मी टोटल अमाउंट इज दिस पॉइंट प्रेडी क्लियर विद ऑल ऑफ अस गाइस so value per coin into number of coins always gives us total amount with us. So remember this, jabbi bhi coins hai ya rupees hai ya notes hai, jabbi bhi is tarah ka model aata hai, ye ek standard application hai, value per note or coin into number of notes or coins gives you the total amount. Chik hai? Ab aake yaan solve karte hai. So what is the value per coin that I have here? Value per coin is 1 rupee. 2 rupees and 5 rupees. Okay. Now, the number of coins are in the ratio of 5 is to 4 is to 3. So, when I talk about number of coins, let me assume this as 5x, 4x and 3x. So, we know that value into number of coins will give me my total amount. Now, total amount, sorry, this is total amount. So, total amount becomes 1 into 5x will give me 5x. 2 into 4x will give me 8x and 5 into 3x will give me 15x. As per the question, this is equal to how much guys? 448. So 15 plus 5 gives me 20, 20 plus 8 gives me 28. So what do we have here? We have 28x is equal to 488 or we get the value, sorry, 448. Or we get the value of x is equal to 448 by 28. So let's go with 7. 7 4s and uh, 7 64s and this we can further cancel 4 1s are 4 16s are so what do I have here guys we have the value of x is equal to 16. Now when x ka value hai, can I calculate something else I can calculate the number of coins. Now what is the question? Kya pooch hai? question is find the number of 2 rupee coins. Now number of 2 rupee coins kya hai? Number of 2 rupee coins ka value hai 4x. I have the value of x, therefore our answer will be here. So therefore the answer here becomes 4 into 16 which will be equal to 64. So therefore there are 64 2 rupee coins as per given in the question. Clear? Let's apply in one more question here. Now this question says a bag contains 600 rupees, matlab total amount hai humare paas, in the form of 25 paisa, 50 paisa and 1 rupee. Okay? In the ratio of 6 is to 5 is to 4, find the total number of 1 rupee coins. Now, here is one catch. I am given 25 paisa, 50 paisa, but total amount is in the form of rupees. So, the best way in these kind of questions is, 
convert paisa in terms of rupees and then start calculating. So what is 25 paisa in the form of rupees? 25 paisa is 25 by 100 rupees which means this becomes 1 by 4th of a rupee. I am talking about value per coin. Okay. What is 50 paisa in terms of rupees? 50 paisa becomes 50 by 100 that is half a rupee. And 1 rupee in terms of rupees will be 1 rupee only. Clear? And then I am multiplying with number of coins. Let us say they are in the ratio of 6x, 5x and 8x. So we now know that this into this gives me my total amount. So what is total amount with this? 600 rupees is equal to 6x by 4 clear plus 5x by 2 plus 8x clear let us simplify uh, this is 3 by 2 or this is nothing but 1.5x this is nothing but 2.5x so 1.5 plus 2.5 will give me 4 4 plus 8 will give me 12 so what do we have here we have 600 is equal to 12x or we have x is equal to 600 by 12 which will give me how much guys which will give me 50. So we have the value of x is equal to 50. Clear? Now if we have x is equal to 50 what is the question asking us? The question is asking us number of 1 rupee coins. So the number of 1 rupee coins is going to be how many guys? 8x and therefore the value is going to be 8 into 50 which is going to be 400 should be the value of that number. Clear guys? So this is what we are looking at how to calculate the questions with respect to number of coins given to us. Okay. Now let us move to the next question. In a bag the number of 10 rupee notes is double the number of 5 rupee notes which is double the number of 2 rupee notes. That means I am talking about the number of notes. Right. So what is the question talking about? I have 10 rupee notes, I have 5 rupee notes and I have 2 rupee notes. Okay. Let us say this is value per note. And now I am talking about number of notes. If this part is 1, number of 5 rupee notes is double. That means this part becomes 2. 1 is to 2. And number of 10 rupee notes is double of this. That means this part becomes 4. Which means the number of notes is in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1. Right. So let us take 4x, 2x and x. And we know that value into number of notes gives me the total amount. So this becomes 40x this becomes 10x and this becomes 2x. So 50x plus 2x which is 52x as per the question is equal to 2600 rupees. Clear guys? So we have 52x is equal to 2600 or the value of x is equal to 2600 by 52. So we should know that half of 52 is 26 so therefore this becomes 52 into 5 is 260 which means the value of x is equal to 50 is what we have from here. Now let us look at the question. The number of 5 rupee notes and we have assumed the number of 5 rupee notes to be 2x. Since the value of x is equal to 50, my answer becomes 2 into 50 which is equal to 100 becomes the number of 5 rupee notes. Clear guys? Let us look at one more question with the application of this. Now a box contains 5 rupee notes, 2 rupee notes and 1 rupee, sorry 5 rupee coins, 2 rupee coins and 1 rupee coins and their amounts are in the ratio of 15 is to 4 is to 2. Clear? Right? So I have value per coin into number of coins is equal to amount. Now this is 5 is to 2 is to 1. Clear? And I am given this as 15 is to 4 is to 2. So coming from the previous class, we had learned a concept called compound ratio in video number 5. Right? What is compound ratio? When I am multiplying two ratios, that the outcome is always going to be a compound ratio. Right? So I know that 5 into what should give me 15? 5 into 3 should give me 15. 2 into what should give me 4? 2 into 2 should give me 4. And 1 into what should give me 2? 1 into 2 should give me 2. That means the number of coins are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 2. Now what is the question asking us? The question is asking us to calculate the number of 2 rupee notes. What are the number of 2 rupee notes? So the total notes are and uh, total coins are 112 in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 2. Clear? Right? And I want the value of this. That becomes 2 divided by 3 plus 2 plus 2 gives me 7 
into 112. So 7 ones are 7, 7 six are 42, 2 into 16, my final answer here becomes 32 and that is going to be our final answer. Clear? So this was all about the topics on coins. Now let's move to different questions which we are aware and will apply the concepts on persons. Right? Now let's look at this. In a college, the students in arts and commerce stream were in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So let's say arts stream we had 4x and commerce stream we had 5x. When 65 more students joined the commerce stream, the ratio became 8 is to 11. Okay, this is, is to 11. So that means the number of commerce students now became 5x plus 65 and this ratio is 8 is to 11. So all that I can do is I can make this ratio is equal to 8 by 11. We had seen similar questions in problems on numbers, right? So we can directly apply that logic also here. If initial ratio is given, final ratio is given and something is added and subtracted, we can directly apply this logic and get our answers, right? So when I cross multiply, or let's cancel this, 4 ones are 4 twos are, let's cross multiply we have 11x is equal to 10x plus 130 or we get the value of x is equal to 130. Clear now what is the question asking us? To calculate, we are asked to calculate how many students were there in the art stream. In the art stream we had 4x students that becomes 4 into 130 and therefore my final answer here becomes 520 were the number of students in arts stream. Very simple question, like a question based on numbers, right? Now let's solve this question. The ratio of number of boys and girls in the school were 720 students. Of 720 students is 7 is to 5. How many more girls should be admitted to make the ratio as 1 is to 1? Now, we have total de diya hai. Total humko 720 de diya hai. Aur unka ratio bhi hamare paas hai. That is 7 is to 5. So number of boys kitna ho jayega, guys? Number of boys jo ho jayega, wo ho jayega 7 by 12 of 720. 12 ones are 12 sixties are, matlab number of boys ho gaya 420. Number of girls kitne ho gaya boys? So this is 5 by 12 into 720. So 12 ones are 12 sixties are. So guys, the total number of girls here is going to be 300. Now what is the question asking us to calculate? How many girls should be added? So I have 420 boys. I have 300 girls and I am talking about how many girls should be added so that the ratio becomes 1 is to 1. Clear? This is one way to calculate. We cross multiply. So we get 420 is equal to 300 plus x or we get the value of x is equal to 120. This is a mathematical way guys. This is a shortcut. Bhi hai. अब 1 is to 1 ratio का मतलब क्या होता है? 1 is to 1 ratio का मतलब होता है दोनों parties equal number में, right? If both of them are an equal number and I'm adding only girls, that means the number of boys is not changing. मतलब finally मेरा number of boys भी 420 हुआ and if number of boys and number of girls का ratio 1 is to 1 है, मतलब number of girls भी हमारे पास 420 ही चाहिए. Initially I have how many girls? 300. Finally, how many girls do I need? 420. That means how many girls should be added? We have to add another 120 girls here to make sure that we are getting boys and girls in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Clear? So, we can remember this as a shortcut. Whenever 1 is to 1 is given, we can simplify this and get our required answer. Okay? Let's move to the next question. Now, this question we have given the ratio of number of boys and girls in the class is 3 is to 2. So let me write boys and girls, let's say 3x and 2x. The ratio of total number of girls who travel by school bus to the total number of girls who do not travel by school bus is 3 is to 1. So this ratio is 3 is to 1. If 12 girls do not travel by school bus, find the number of boys in the class. Very simple question. Okay? Now number of girls who do not travel by school bus would be 1 divided by 3 plus 1 of 2x. So, humare hisab se 1 by 4 of 2x are the number of girls who do not travel by two, by bus. As per the question, there are 12 girls who do not travel by school bus. Matlab, this is equal to 12. 
क्लियर गाइस सो दिस इज टू वन जो टू टू जो अभी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो हमको एक्स का वैल्यू कितना मिलेगा गाइस हमको एक्स का वैल्यू ट्वेंटी फोर मिलेगा अब हमसे क्वेश्चन क्या पूछ रहा है अब हमसे पूछा गया कि नंबर ऑफ बॉयज निकालो तेरे फोर नंबर ऑफ बॉयज निकालना है तो क्या हो जाएगा थ्री एक्स निकालना है दैट इज थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर मतलब नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इन द क्लास आर गोइंग टू बी सेवेंटी टू वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन रेशियो विद इन रेशियो इसका एक शॉर्टकट भी है मैं आपको बताऊंगा बट लेट्स एज ऑफ नो अप्लाई दिस ठीक है ना लेट्स लुक एट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वहां पर मैं आपको शॉर्टकट बताऊंगा जब भी रेशियो दिया है उसके अंदर एक और रेशियो दिया है उसको कैसे सिंप्लीफाई करते हैं अभी हम सीखेंगे नाउ यहां पे आई एम गिवन द रेशियो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स इन द क्लास इज वन इज टू वन ओके द रेशियो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हु पास टू द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हु फेल्ड इज टू इज टू थ्री अब इसका रेशियो हमको दिया हुआ है टू इज टू थ्री ठीक है नाउ द रेशियो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स हु पास टू द नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स हु फेल्ड इज वन इज टू फोर सॉरी वन इज टू थ्री फाइन द रेशियो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु पास टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु फेल्ड ठीक है अब जनरली गलती क्या करते जनरली मेथड क्या करते हैं हम इसको x ले लेते हैं और इसको भी हम x ले लेते हैं सो हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट बॉयज हैव पास्ट द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हुआ पास्ट इज टू डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव ऑफ टोटल सो लेट मी राइट द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हुआ पास्ट इज टू बाई फाइव ऑफ x प्लस द नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स हुआ पास्ट इज वन बाई फोर ऑफ x. दिस इज द मैथमेटिकल अप्रोच गाइज ओके ये हमारा नंबर ऑफ बॉयज पास हो गया नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स पास हो गया दैट इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु पास डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु फेल्ड सो नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हु फेल्ड विल बी थ्री बाई फाइव ऑफ एक्स एंड नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स हु फेल्ड विल बी थ्री बाई फोर ऑफ एक्स अब मेरे को यहां प्रॉब्लम एक ही है कि यार फ्रैक्शन में लंबा टाइम लगता है इन एप्टीट्यूड एग्जाम आपका मोटिव होना चाहिए टू अवॉइड फ्रैक्शन ठीक है तो अब इसका शॉर्टकट क्या है ये तो मैथमेटिकल अप्रोच है आप सॉल्व करोगे आपको आंसर आ जाएगा ठीक है अब अब ध्यान दीजिए अगर आप ये फ्रैक्शन देख रहे हो मतलब डिनोमिनेटर फाइव है टू अवॉइड द फ्रैक्शन इफ हियर आई हैव अ मल्टीपल ऑफ फाइव माय जॉब बिकम्स इजी सिमिलरली इफ हियर आई हैव अ मल्टीपल ऑफ फोर माई जॉब बिकम्स इजी सो वट इज द शॉर्टकट हियर आई एम रिजिंग दिस पार्ट द शॉर्टकट इज एड दीज टू दीज टू एड अपू गिव अस फाइव Add add these two. These two two. up to give us four. Take LCM of five and four. LCM of five and four कितना होता है guys? 20. So instead of taking x, हम क्या करेंगे यहां पर वन को हम ट्वेंटी एक्स से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे यहां पर भी हम ट्वेंटी एक्स से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे क्योंकि यह हमारा रेशियो है ठीक है नाउ लेट्स अप्लाई सो वट इज द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हुआ पास्ट सॉरी यप सो The number of boys who have passed will be how much? Two by five of twenty x. Or we can do it mentally also. Five parts is equal to twenty x. So one part is equal to four x. Five ones are five four x. So number of boys who pass, how much will be? Guys, two into four x will be eight x. Or number of boys who failed will be three into four x. Three into four x will give us twelve x. Plus plus. अब यहां पे देखिए वन प्लस थ्री फोर पार्ट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी अगर फोर पार्ट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एक्स है तो वन पार्ट कितना हो जाएगा फाइव एक्स तो इसका वैल्यू हो जाएगा फाइव एक्स और इसका वैल्यू हो जाएगा फिफ्टीन एक्स सो एट प्लस फाइव कितना हो गया थर्टीन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन एक्स एक्स कैंसल हो गया तो हमारा फाइनल रेशियो क्या हो गया थर्टीन इज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द रेशियो ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट हुआ पास इज टू हुआ फेल्ड सो रिमेम्बर वेन एवर यू हैव अ रेशियो Within that ratio, if you have further ratios, the best way to simplify calculations is add this part, add this part, take the LCM of that and multiply with that number, and then you calculate. Your job would be very easy. You will get accurate answers in the least possible time. Okay, let's apply this in one more question. Now here I am told that the ratio of number of boys is to number of girls is four is to three. Okay. The ratio of number of boys who passed to the number of boys who failed is two is to three. ठीक है. Now we'll learn this. And if all the girls passed, ठीक है. The number of girls passed is three. No problem. So let's take L. This is how much? Two plus three is five. And since the total number of girls passed, no problem. Let's keep it as five only. So since five 
that means I have to multiply 5 x to both of them. So, let us multiply into 5 x into 5 x. ठीक है तो अब क्या हो गया फाइव पार्ट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एक्स अगर फाइव पार्ट ट्वेंटी एक्स है तो वन पार्ट कितना हुआ फोर एक्स सो टू पार्ट विल बी एट एक्स एंड थ्री पार्ट विल बी ट्वेल्व एक्स एंड ऑल दीज गर्ल्स हैव पास्ट Now what is the question asking us to calculate? Find the ratio of total number of students who passed to the total number of students who failed. So how many boys passed? Eight x boys passed. How many girls passed? Fifteen x girls passed. Divided by how many boys failed? Twelve x boys failed. So therefore your answer here becomes twenty three x by twelve x. X and x gets cancelled. So therefore the final ratio is twenty three is to twelve becomes our final answer. Clear guys? So please remember this is a very important concept which we'll also learn in mixtures topic. But right now, whenever ratio within a ratio is given, this is the shortcut that we can apply and simplify our answers. Clear? Now let's look at one more question. The ratio of selected to unselected candidates is 14 is to 25. ठीक है? So selected, let's take 14x. Unselected candidates are 25x, which means total candidates will be how much? 39x. Okay. If 35 less candidates had applied, that means now the total becomes 39x minus 35. Okay. And test then less candidates were selected. Abhi 14x tha. So ye ho jayega 14x minus 10. So what will be unselected candidates, guys? Unselected candidates would be, let's say plus u. Okay. So u would be equal to 39x minus 35 minus of 14x minus 10. So this will give me how much? 39x minus 14x minus 35 plus 10. So this will give you how much guys? This is 25x minus 25. So number of unselected candidates were 25x minus 25. Now, what is the question talking about? Now, the question says the ratio of selected and unselected candidates would now become 3 is to 5. Matlab, in dono ka ratio abhi 3 is to 5 hai. So, hum simplify karte. So, 14x minus 10. Yaha pe hum 25 common le le to ye ho jayega. x minus 1 is equal to 3 by 5, guys. Theek hai? So, ye 5 1s are 5 5s are. Let's cross multiply. So, you have 14x minus 10 is equal to 15 into x minus 1 or we have 14 x minus 10 is equal to 15 x minus 15 or we have 15 minus 10 is equal to 15 x minus 14 x. So, finally, what do we have? We have the value of x is equal to 5. Now, we have find the total number of candidates who applied for the job. Applied for the job, kitna tha? 39 x. Tha. Therefore, our answer is 39 into Five. So that's five lines of 45, five by carry four, 195 becomes a final answer. So this is how we solve questions with respect to number of people and number of coins. Very interesting models. Please make sure you make a separate notes and note down how to solve different, different types of shortcuts. A concept notes will be very handy in the whole preparation of CAT whenever you are going forward. So every video you should summarize and write the summary on your concept notes so that your job becomes pretty easy there. So I hope you learnt a lot in this session. Please remember the shortcuts and please do not forget to subscribe our channel, like this video and also do not forget to give your feedback. Clear guys? So that's it from this session. I'll see you guys in the next session. All the best. Thank you.